Hi, I'm Brenda Imanis. I'm a broadcaster and journalist, and as my profession might hint at, I love stories. Be it dramatic news stories or a great novel, an exciting film, even occasionally a bit of gossip. The Story Museum is located in the gloriously historic city of Oxford and it's all about the power of storytelling. After a long period of homeschooling, stimulating the imaginations of children is more important than ever. That's what this place is all about. The Oxford Story Museum is important because stories are important. Um, our mission is that we aim to enrich lives, especially young lives, through stories. And we do that by harnessing their power. Um, stories are incredibly powerful in developing people's language, particularly very young children. That leads to literacy, it promotes creativity, it enables them to develop their human selves and to really reach their full potential. So here at the Story Museum, we present a whole range of exhibitions, of activities and events that really encourage children and their adults and we do this with families, with schools, with independent community groups to come here and really explore the power of stories. There are a lot of schools with children that are struggling with their literacy. All of our learning and participation programmes make sure that every single child will leave the museum having developed a type of excitement about a story that will help engage them, you know, spark a curiosity and hopefully they will go away and continue to learn and grow and progress. We're very story focused but all of our learning and participation projects hope to encourage children to learn how to love reading and to actually want to try and progress their levels of reading but in a non-pressured environment, a really kind of nurturing and encouraging and inclusive environment. Our £6 million redevelopment was quite extraordinary. It gave us the opportunity to realise all our dreams and ambitions that we tested beforehand. We knew that people loved stories, they loved stepping into stories and now we could actually make it a reality for them. The great news is people are coming, they're coming in their tens of thousands and they're coming back. So we're finding that after only about 12 months of being open and functioning, um, families are coming back maybe two, three times and that's because they're drawn here again by the stories. All the wonderful things at the Story Museum are extraordinary and multifarious. A whispering wood, an enchanted library, you can step through a wardrobe into Narnia, you can play poo sticks, you can fall down Alice's rabbit hole. It is a place unlike any other with a surprise around every corner. We provide the backdrop, the children provide the action with their imagination. So what's on offer here really supports one of the key areas of childhood development, expanding imagination and creativity through storytelling. The Story Museum really is nurturing and inspiring the minds of tomorrow, which is why it's been shortlisted for the Art Fund Museum of the Year 2022.